All right, greetings, Fontaine here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at loading instruments from the MK3 hardware controller. On the browser, we can scroll through various instruments. As you can see here, the product menu appears here, where if we want to scroll through the products, such as clavinet, codex, drum lab, E grand or electric grand 80 stereo, electric 88, and so on and so on. We have contact in here, Monarch Massive Machine. So whatever instrument that you're filling, you can scroll through here and find. So let's say, for example, I want to load something from the Mark I. I'm under all categories, Mark I. I could have narrowed that down by just saying sample instruments, synthesizers, drums and percussion, things of that nature. All right, so let's go back to the Mark I. Looking for something in there. All types appears here pianos and keys. Just for the sake of the video to make things a lot easier, I'm not going to worry about using sample based or if there was more attributes in here. Piano and keys, that's fine. And we'll load up, let's do the blue ballot. We'll select load here. And again, we're on a sound. Make sure that you're on a sound, you know, because you have a master level, a group level, and a sound level. So we have a blank sound here, which is sound pad 8. As you can see, 8. There's nothing on it. Okay, so we're gonna load blue ballot on there. Just gotta wait a minute, busy loading. All right, so now that you look in the software, under sound, the Scarby Mark I is now loaded. If you wanna view that from the uh, MK3, you can exit the browser uh, menu there, and you can see it appears right there, blue ballot, the beats per minute of the session, and all that good stuff, as well as the attributes of the plugin here. Pressing shift, I get more options, such as if I want to bypass the plugin, turn the plugin back on, or if I want to move it through the plugin chain, you have a move icon here. But of course, that's the only sound on there, so I can't move that. But if there were other sounds uh, or other instruments in there, I can move it, kind of like moving a plugin up and down the plugin chain, if that makes sense to you in your mind. You can move it through different instruments. All right, edit icon here. Go back to this Garby Mark One. Brings it up in the window like so. Not to use the mouse at this part because I have to bring it over just a little bit here. And as you can see, the Garby Mark One now appears in the software. All right, let's do other things with that. We can go to keyboard mode. We can access different scales, such as minor, harmony, major, and it goes on and on and on. For this part right here, I would like to see native instruments make it so when we touch the touch knob here, I would like to see these categories come up. I think that would be a lot faster. The root notes here, and here's your scales. We can go up octaves. We have chords, selecting the chord icon here. Just going through some of the octaves. You know, just going through some different harmony settings here, not trying to play anything, just showing you how to access these different chords. So the chords are here, we have different modes such as harmony, chord set, you have types such as major. Major threes, major fours, major fives, major sixths. And as you see right here, the different scales are labeled here nice and neat.
Very simple, very easy, very straightforward. Okay, so that's how you can load instruments directly from the MK3 hardware controller. And I think we'll hold it up right here. We'll exit the chord menu, and I will see you in the next video.